In this video, we will see various number system. We use decimal number system to count some distance or our money. The number is used for representing an information or some quantity. We can also use the same quantity in other number system like binary, octal, decimal, dodecimal and hexadecimal. Now each number system has different radix or base. The radix or base is the total number of unique digits or symbol. In our decimal number system we have 10 unique symbols from 0 to 9. In binary number system 0 and 1. The base is 2. In octal number system it is from 0 to 7. The base is 8. Now in duodecimal number system it has 0 to 9 and after 9 this is the symbol and it is inverted 2 and after that we have this symbol it is inverted 3. The inverted 2 is equivalent to 10 in decimal number system and inverted 3 is equivalent to 11 in decimal number system. So in due decimal number system the total number of unique digits is 12 that is 0 to inverted 3. Sometimes inverted 2 is written as A and inverted 3 is written as B. In hexadecimal number system it has 0 to 9 and after that it is A, B, C, D, E, F. So total we have 16 unique digits. Here the value of A is 10, B equal to 11, then 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now we will see weighted and non-weighted code. Let's take a decimal number. 2687. We can write this number as 2 multiplied by 1000, 6 multiplied by 100, 8 multiplied by 10, and 7 multiplied by 1. Also, you can write it as this. Now, see this number. This position has weightage of 10 to the power 0. This position has weightage of 10 to the power 1. This position has weightage of 10 square and this position has a weightage of 10 to the power 3. So the decimal number system is weighted code. The decimal, binary, octal, duodecimal, hexadecimal and BCD that is binary coded decimal these are the examples of weighted code and the non weighted codes are grey code, excess 3 code etc. Now see the most important table to design a digital logic circuit. We have just written the decimal number up to 15 and its equivalent in binary number system. So these are all the 4 bit binary numbers. And in hexadecimal A, B, C, D, E, F. And we need this table to design our logic circuits. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video, if so then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video I will show you another topic, till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.